A reading from the book of Sirach. Now I will praise those godly men, our ancestors, each in his own time. These were godly men whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. Through, God, through God's covenant, and then their family endures, their posterity for their sake. And for all time, their progeny will endure. Their glory will never be blotted out. Their bodies are peacefully laid away, but their name lives on and on. At gatherings, their wisdom is retold, and the assembly proclaims their praise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, God will give him the throne of David, his father. God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord swore to David a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring I will set upon your throne. God will give him the throne of David, his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion, he prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her I will dwell, and I prefer her. God will give him the throne of David, his father. In her I will make a horn to sprout forth from David. I will place a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I will clothe with shame, but upon him my crown shall shine. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his father. Good morning, everyone. Monday, July 26th, Matthew has this to say. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all seeds, and yet when fully grown, it is the largest of plants, becoming a large bush. The birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour uh, until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what had been said through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what has lain hidden from the foundation of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Stories. Stories. That's one thing that I always try to pepper my sermons with, and uh, I know it works because everyone wants to hear a story. And uh, there's an art to it. We must be able to tell a story that has a point, um, that captures people's interest, and uh, that in the end leaves them a little enriched about life and about themselves. Jesus was a, a superb storyteller. His parables were, of course, the stories. And, and in this particular story, which is very well spoken, he uh, talks about things they understand uh, in terms of the, the agricultural life and the life of the earth that they lived. The story of the, the mustard seed and the, and the plant, they would have understood that. They lived close to the earth. The way that they farmed and grew the food that they ate tells them the parable of, of, of the yeast and the leavened bread. They would have understood that because everyone in those days, they had to make their own bread. And uh, there's so many other parables that Jesus spoke about. But he also, as I said before, had a point to the parables, which was the birds of the sky come and they, they nest in, in this great bush that started out from that little seed. Jesus planted seeds of faith in every single heart of the people he spoke to, and it grew into a life-changing uh, direction for them. And, and it has for all of us. You know, in the baptism ritual, it says, uh, you and your spouse will be the first teachers of your child in the ways of the faith. May you be the best of teachers. May be the best of teachers. They plant that little seed of faith after the baptism, and hopefully it will grow into a life of faith. 
And of course, the same thing with the leavened bread and with the yeast and the dough rising, same thing. You start out with this small little kind of compact mass and then you knead it together and watch what happens. So Jesus was the master storyteller, but his stories, the point of his stories and the point of mine, well, his stories have a point which is eternal life, salvation. Uh, a slightly bigger point than mine often have, but mine are often to reiterate what Jesus has said. That's the point of a homily, the point of a sermon. So there you have it, my friends. Nurture the seed of faith that's planted in your hearts, that it may continue to provide you with a lifetime of faith journeying with Christ. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. And now, my friends, as we have shared the Word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. My friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection.